Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright and I am the resourceful CEO. Wanted to briefly talk to you about SBA loans. Normally, I'll admit I am not a fan of SBA loans because they want to lock up everything. If you own multiple businesses or you have a bunch of real estate, then at the SBA loan is not the way to go. However, if you currently just own your existing business and or you want to acquire a business and you own your home, but nothing else, right now is a the SBA loan is a great way to go if you're trying to grow your business or acquire another business. Right now, they're offering uh, six months of, of payments that are totally um, forgiven. They're, they're not capitalized. You're just totally, you don't have to make this first six months payment, but it's, it's actually um, credited as if the payments were made up to $9,000 a month. And you, instead of the typical 20 to 25% down, it's now 10% down, assuming that the business qualifies. <laughs> qualifies for that and the and there's no origination fees so typically the SBA because they're a guarantor so your bank has its whatever fees it has when it does a loan but the SBA also has fees that it it typically re demands up front and these are origination fees but those are being waived and this is only until September only until September and the SBA, this is part of the economic incentive package. This is not the SBA just saying, let's do this. <laughs> this is... <laughs> okay. Okay. Obviously, I find that hilarious. But, <laughs> but anyways, from Congress, your, your congressperson, your senator, may, your representative or your senator may or may not have voted for it, but it's available now. So again, if you are looking at acquiring a company, then you can pay for that acquisition with an SBA loan. Or if you're looking to grow your company, if you're looking to buy a building, right now, commercial real estate is being hammered, especially in the small business sector. So now if you're thinking about buying a building, now would be a time to do so. You can use a, a 7A loan to acquire the building and or a 504 but now you, then you got to work with a cdc and that's a community development corporation but anyways i don't want to get off topic a 7a loan uh 90 percent and again 90 percent down and typically you only get 90 percent if you use if you do a 504 with a cdc because they they kind of match so um, so again, the three things that you get with an SBA loan until September, if you qualify, and if you're looking at expanding, you either need a, uh, line of credit or well, not a line of, that, that would be an SBA express loan. If you need a term loan to buy equipment to expand to, um, you can embed a line of credit in your, into your term, you know, with your term loan or, or do an add on. Um, so acquisitions, equipment, or, or something else that is tangible, um, by all means, take advantage of the SBA loan because the terms have never, I don't want to say never, I don't know the history of SBA loans, but they haven't been this good for a very long time. 10% down, so they're financing up to 90% instead of up to 70 or up to 75 or 80% um, in the case of like legal and accounting and so on. So up to, so they're financing up to 90%. Their six months of payments are being basically gifted to you, gifted to you. So if you need some, and it's up to $9,000. So if you need some um, room to navigate there you go. You have your your debt service payments that would just be uh, non-existent for six months. <laughs> and then there's no origination fees.
So, okay, I think I have uh, really drummed that into you. Again, if you own a house and no other uh, physical assets besides those of your company, I highly recommend that you take advantage of this SBA loan op opportunity if you want to grow your business. If you, or buy a new business if you're an existing, if, if you are a new entrepreneur and you're looking for a way to get started in business, buy one. I always, I always recommend to people to buy a business instead of starting from scratch. If you're going to be a marketing company, why not buy one? Buy a profitable marketing company. They have a history. It's so much easier to get financing when you have a history of cash flow and profitability than when you have no history. So you can, uh, so they'll finance the business based on the history of the business, not on your own uh, personal financial situation, except of course for the that down payment. If you have any questions, please give me a call. I'm the resourceful CEO. Uh, better yet, schedule <laughs> schedule a meeting because sometimes I'm, I'm really busy and I can't pick up the phone. But uh, please schedule um, if you want to discuss restructuring your business or other ways that you can access funding the resourceful ceo.com forward slash schedule check out my blog the resourceful ceo.com forward slash blog or just you know go to the contact page and shoot me an email and i look forward to hearing from you oh yes please subscribe <laughs>